My name is Manjuri Gupta and my presentation topic is serial dilution and pore plating. Serial dilution as the name suggests is a series of sequential dilutions that are performed to convert a dense solution into usable concentration. Usually when we take a sample that is usually concentrated very much and contains millions to trillions of microbes and we are unable to examine that. So in order to perform experiments on that or to analyze them we serially dilute them. Basically, it is a quantitative analysis to count the number of colonies. We can find out a dilution factor as volume of sample divided by volume of sample plus volume of diluent. And we will take the sterile diluent that can be either distilled water or 0.9% saline. And it is a process of taking a sample and diluting it through a series of standard volumes. And that standard volumes can be fixed by us. For example, we can take the 9 milliliter broth as a diluent and 1 milliliter for the sample preparation. We will take it and the concentration is unknown. Then we will prepare the concentration of 10 to the power minus 1, 2, 10 to the power minus 2, 2 minus 3, 2, so on. From that much, we need it. And as we can see, the colonies is decreasing as we the decrease the concentration of the sample and we can find out the colony forming units per milliliter as number of colonies into dilution factor divided by volume of culture plate as we can find out of this one as 285 colonies 20 power 3 the factor and upon 1 the volume it equals 2.8525 minus 10 to the power 5 cfu milliliter in sample next the pore plate techniques Serial dilution and plating technique, they go hand in hand in the laboratory. So, it is a technique of choice for counting the number of colony forming bacteria present in a liquid specimen. Without plating, we cannot find the number of colonies after serially diluting. So, it is with this method, an amount of bacteria suspended in a solution around 1 milliliter is placed in the center of a sterile petri dish using a sterile pipette. Molten cool agar is then poured into dish and containing the inoculum and mixed well. After the solidification of the agar, the plate is inverted and incubated as usual. As it is a technique that can be used to determine the number of microbes per milliliter in a specimen. It has an advantage that not requiring previously prepared plates and often used to assay bacterial contamination of foodstuffs. Some of the examples are here and in pore plating, the colonies are grown on the surface as well as on subsurface inside the plate also because uh, the sample is prepared into the sterile plate and then medium is poured out sterile medium with inoculum agar medium and then it is mixed well so the sample is poured into all the volume and then solidification and incubation and we can see the colony There's, these are the both techniques the sample in dilution concentration x as we needed and then the pore plating colonies grow in on solidified medium as we can see that as we decrease the concentration of the sample the number of colonies are also decreased and we can choose our concentration basically we will choose from 10 to the power minus 3 20 to the power minus 6 concentration to examine the colonies we can count it manually or by the counter machine Thank you.